Okay, welcome back. It is Friday. So I was doing a little bit of checking, um, and it sounds like, or it seems like we have enough uh, strawberry seeds to actually start. The only thing, though, is I want the best, uh, I want the best watering can before we start doing that, because otherwise we're going to have, uh, we're going to have a few issues, uh, which trying to get stuff watered quickly, uh, honestly I was kind of considering maybe looking for a mod that allowed me to just place down sprinklers in the, uh, in there, but, um, uh, I, I think it's, I think we can manage without it. It's just, we gotta keep in mind that that's kind of the big thing. Um, let's see here. We should have enough iridium bars at this point, yes. Hopefully he's not gonna require us to do some other bull crap to in order to um, actually make our iridium watering can. More powerful than the normal scythe. Yeah, okay. Dump this off. Let's see here. Is the girl who was asking for this here? Looks like a spell scroll, but instead of spells, it has chemical formulas in the equations. Okay. Town. Okay, Doc. So Let's go ahead and get ourselves, I don't know, maybe like 200 cauliflower, 200 potatoes, and 200 parsnips. Just to get us going. Or 201, that works as well. Riveting gameplay right here. 200. And then maybe like 250 parsnips. I don't know. I'm mainly doing this so that I don't have to think about it once. Uh, um, once some of our other crops come up. Well, I'm also thinking about it. We should see if we can catch the, uh, the fish today while it's still raining. All right, uh, let's go ahead and upgrade our iridium watering can. Barely made a dent. <laughs> okay, now we can go ahead and head back. Uh, to the bus stop. Uh, 
Runde. Let's start off by coming over here, grabbing our car steps, and doing this section first, or this side first. Go ahead and at least make a little dent in our car steps so we constantly have something coming up. Now we can go ahead and do cauliflower since uh, cauliflower is the big, big ticket item here. I don't think we really have a whole lot of open space in any of these chests, but I guess we'll put them in here, just so they're all in one spot. We'll sell you. Uh, let's get rid of this random piece of coal that we have. These void essences, I think we can just toss... Same with this fiber we just picked up. Okay. So. Let's go ahead and grab our dish of the sea. So we're either going to use the dressed spinner or the barbed hook, I think. To try and catch this thing. Let's go up to the mines. Not that this is ideally the spot to go to anymore, not because it's a lot farther away from the lake. So, I don't know exactly where you need to be to get the best chance of finding this thing, but I believe it does need to be raining, and obviously it needs to be spring. But if I remember correctly, being around this log is kind of important. Okay. What? What is this? Increases your chance of catching rare fish. I guess we'll keep it on there because that could still be helpful. Okay, we are really hoping to catch this thing today. Yep, that's that would be it. It is. I I hate it when it does that. It moves way too quickly for your for the bar to adjust. And of course we can't seem to find it again. But I guess we. I don't know what that was about, but all right. Did we, like, get something? No? I don't know, that was weird. That would be the fish. by far the most annoying fish to catch. I hate that so much. It is such bullshit. Like, you're at level 10, you have the best rod in the game, and the fish is still giving you too much shit to actually try and catch it.
finally. Fuck you. Caught one of the legendary fish. Awesome. Okay, so I ended up crafting a trap bobber. Eating some spicy eel and some dish of the sea just to give myself... Well, okay. I guess the spicy eel stuff goes away if you eat the dish of the sea. That's cool, but uh, anyways. Ah. <sighs> But that's how you catch the <laughs> the legendary fish in the legendary spring fish. So, yay! <laughs> All right. Um, a lot of fish, but I think those are a lot of uh, mod fish. So uh, let's go ahead and put that fish away. We'll take it over to the uh, to the aquarium at some point, along with any of the other fish that we still have. Uh, let's go ahead and just dump out a few of the things that we have collected. And I think that's probably good. Yep. Go ahead and sleep for the night. Six hundred gold for the Galdorn gem. Cool. Thanks for the help with the bug steaks. I could have done it myself, of course. I just didn't have the time. Anyway, I only have money to give you right now, but I owe you one, and I won't forget that, so thanks. So, I got uh, 10,000 gold, which is not too shabby. And shoot. I completely forgot that this is just how we are uh, doing stuff now, um, and I don't have a watering can. Oops. Well, um, hopefully our crops can survive a few days. Looks like uh, everyone is happy. I thought we had an auto like, isn't that what this is? Okay. That will sell stuff. Um, we probably actually. Go ahead and grab that other small bin as well as these two, or at least this, uh, this loom here. Well, hmm, maybe not. Well, <laughs> I guess let's go and do the fish stuff. Um, since we don't really have anything else to do today, and we're kind of out of, we don't have a watering can. That, and that, honestly, is the part that sucks the most. I really wish there was an easier way to cut back up. Let's go this way.
We need pine tar for the cats. No. Oh, okay. We just need a bunch of wood. Hmm. Let's head to the, to the aquarium. Ten AM. Then why are you standing there? <laughs> Blobfish mask. Oh, wow. Ooh, so this is how you could get a uh, dish, dish of the sea if you really needed it. Okay, I think that was all the fish. Would be nice uh, if they would more clearly show, like, um, which fish you're missing. But yeah, we have all the legendary fish. We have officially caught all of the le legendary fish now. Yep. Let's go ahead, head back. I'm not sure how long our iridium watering can will be out. It's what? It's been one day, so probably another day or two. Ugh. I don't know if it if the time increases depending upon the rank. Though, that's the one thing I'm unsure about. I am kind of tempted to go ahead and just start selling a bunch of our produce so that we can get ourselves up to um, the amount we need to buy the return sector. Let's see here. Yeah, like, we have so much stuff. I, I think it's probably time. Honestly, it's going to be faster if we just do something like this instead. I'll keep maybe, like, five of each rank. Guys, I'm finally doing it. I'm finally selling everything. Maybe not everything, but a fair bit of it. Uh, the coffee beans we can go ahead and keep a bit more of because it takes so much to do up. lot of money. <laughs> it would still be nice to sell, like, the manufactured versions of all of this, but this is okay. This is fine. But 
put a few more things away just to clean up some of this inventory. This is good. At least for the springtime stuff. Okay, let's go ahead and do summer. It's mostly just a, I finally want to get a lot of this out of my inventory keep maybe like 20 hops. I think we'll make back enough of... enough of our produce before we like start running out of uh, stuff for the manufactured related things like um, the jelly and stuff. In fact, I might hold on to the blueberries, uh, just because the blueberries are not at, uh, they're they're a lot easier to keep producing. Oops. And at this point, I don't think we really need to worry about pleasing people. I think we're uh, pretty safely uh, where we need to be in regards to that. That's good. It's going to be so much money. Nope, oh, not those. <laughs> Thankfully, it's not like a as soon as you put it in, it's gone type of deal. Thankfully, it's not like that. Keep maybe about half of the, or like 50 of the golden blueberries. Keep maybe about five of each pumpkin. Uh, maybe 10 of the base ones. Maybe like 20 of the cranberries. We'll keep those ones. Okay. 
Okay. I think this is probably fine. I think this is more than enough produce to just go ahead and stuff at this point. We're about to crash the entire <laughs> Stardew Valley economy right now. <laughs> um, okay. Let me think here. We could go to Ginger Island. It's a little late in the day, though. I'm not a huge fan of leaving this late. I wonder how close are we to actually like getting these? I wish there was a. I wish it would show like a time limit on them. Like, I'm sure there's mods that'll tell you that. I mean, there, and there's mods for everything, but I want to talk with uh, Resmodius for a second. I want to see how much it's going to cost to get the couple of. Uh, Upgrade, or not upgrades, but um, the couple of towers that would be actually really helpful for travel. Oh, hey. Who are you? I guess we didn't get this cutscene. Nice to meet you, Jennifer. My name is Morgan. I left home to come study under Resmodius. Hey, look what I can do. Morgan. Sorry, Magnus. I just wanted to show Jennifer the new magic thing I learned. There are rules, Morgan. I expect you to follow them. Okay. Go and study Chapter 2 of the Ancient Fruit Almanac in your room. We're brewing potions tomorrow. Um, okay. I have to go read now, I guess. Bye. Apologies, Jennifer. Morgan has much to learn about control. I have more materials to for tomorrow's lesson. You may stay if you wish. How's it going, Magnus? Okay. So let's see here. I don't really care about the Junimo huts. Earth Obelisk, that takes you up to the mountains, which is not super helpful. Water Obelisk uh, takes you down to the beach, which is... Eh. Desert Obelisk is the only one that I'm kind of willing to pay money for right now. Same with the Island Obelisk, but we do not have bananas or the Dragon Tooths that we need to build this. And then the Gold Clock. Scarp is not quite as necessary. Um, same with that one. I would say if we can get the desert or the island obelisk, those would be the most helpful. We need 20 iridium bars, though, for each. Coconuts isn't as big of a deal. It'd just take a trip or two to get all of them, or get enough of them. Okay. Two o'clock. Hmm. I'm not sure there's enough time to really go and do anything. Right now. The cask. Requires 20 wood and one hardwood. We should definitely look into 
building some of those. We, however, do not have much wood. So I'm actually thinking I'm going to go ahead and do some chopping. Um, and I'll just cut this part out. Cut this section out uh, just because it, you guys don't need to see it. It's just unnecessary. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. What are you? Okay, so you you want that thing. We'll, we'll, we'll see. <laughs> Alright, we're actually really close to getting... Uh, to being at like a thousand wood. So, uh, I think we're going to try and hit that and then call it good. Okay, there we go. We are officially over a thousand wood at this point. I think we're probably safe to go ahead and just make a bunch of casks. Um, we'll probably do it sort of individually. Because I don't want to accidentally make more than what we have space for. Because I'm not sure you can build or you can place down casks anywhere other than in the basement. Let's go ahead, sell the acorns, pine cones, and maple seeds that we found, and let's pick up our hardwood. Let's uh, come down here. So there is definitely a best layout for this. I'm going to look that up, though. Okay, so this is the one that I'm seeing, and I'm not going to uh, bother looking up any others because I don't care. <laughs> I, I just want to get the stuff laid down. And unlike other things where ca uh, casks aren't really like Um, casks aren't things that you mess with on a regular basis. I mean, and even then, we aren't going to be able to fill all of these until we get our full... Um, so I need to wrap this up. Come on, place it down. Okay. I'm sure we're gonna make it to the bed, but that's okay because we're at least in the house. Yeah, Ugh, so close. Oh well, again, we're not in the house. Uh, we're in the house, so we're not gonna lose anything. We might lose some health. Jesus. Honestly, I kind of expected a little more, but... That's still very good. So, alright, I think this is where we're going to put another cut, and I will see you guys in the next part.